Yo, what's up with you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. It is a gorgeous day out today on this Sunday. Yes, we are coming to you live um, on this Sunday. And I just actually got some gas. I tell you what though, the Hellcat drains the gas, guys. It is just, wow. I mean, it's not as bad in eco mode, but wow, the Hellcat is not messing around. You know, if you're gonna have fun driving this thing, you're gonna go through. I mean, when I brought this car back from Kellogg, I went through a full tank of gas. Like I, I literally, by the time I came home and I drove around for a little bit, I was out of gas. I was like, I was like, oh gosh, like this is crazy. So other than that though, guys, we have a very exciting video today. And if you guys end up enjoying the video, please do me a solid, it helps out the channel so much. Please hit that subscribe button and hit the like button if you if you enjoy it. it it really does help me out and i appreciate every single one of you man i've had so much positivity on the channel lately just everyone being just so cool about getting the new hellcat i mean uh, people have been so positive on my channel uh, i really just appreciate it so we are going over to scott's right now uh, my friend's house uh, with a 392 stroker and we're going to install the new mighty mouse oil catch can so uh it's going to be uh it's going to be pretty fun and I, I tell you guys what the main reason you know, this is a blower car. The main reason why I want a catch can on this car is, first off, it's the blower car. So I'm even more anal about it. Um, I'm even more anal about it than my 392. But man, I tell you guys what, when I had my 392, and I've told you guys this before, we put 35, 40,000 miles on the car and then we took off the intake manifold um, when we broke that valve spring. And you guys would be mind blown how much oil was going up into that intake manifold. It, it was insane. I mean, it was so insane how much oil was up there. So I had to clean all of it out with a rag. And I was just mind blown because I didn't install my, my catch can till like 45,000 miles. So I had no catch can on the car. And all of that oil was going up into the intake manifold. So there's a lot of people out there that want to say, hey, the manufacturers would have installed a catch can if they thought it was necessary. No, 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 no. Trust me. Trust me, guys. I... I didn't think there would, I didn't really think that there'd be that much oil up there, but it was, I mean, it was just, it was running everywhere up into that intake manifold. So anyways, guys, let's go over to Scott's. Uh, I want to say thank you so much for uh, him, him helping me install this. And uh, he's got a lot of tools over there where I barely have anything. Like I have a couple sets of some stuff, but <laughs> I don't have a lot of the stuff that he has. Uh, and he's been very generous lately to, you know, helping me out. Uh, but anyways, guys, let's jump over there. It's going to be a great day. Let's get it. Also, I bought Scott this CFM. A performance valve cover breather for his 392 stroker so uh, he'll probably be putting that on it's uh, like billet um, it's like a billet uh, quality it's really nice actually so we're gonna bring that to him and he's gonna put that on all right guys so we just got over to Scott's place and this is his 392 stroker a lot of you have have obviously seen this car it's full bolt-on stage 4 cam from Texas speed uh, intake manifold headers Hellcat throttle body, intake, ported polish heads, and he just got his new, um, what brand are these again? These are uh, Ford Star, 17 by 10, 17 by 5s. So what's the biggest tire you can put on here? I can put a 305 on. Yeah, you might need a 305. I don't know. <laughs> Hellcats can get away with a 305. I should, you would think I'd be able to under short, you know. I'm right. Not, I'm not that power level, so you'd think I'd be okay. I hope. We'll see. Right. It's an experiment, you know. Sweet. Awesome. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much where we're at uh, with this car right now. I know a lot of you guys have kind of been asking, you know, where it's been. And uh, we're kind of just at the point now where he doesn't have any engine lights. He's knocking a little bit. Um, but we're going to try and get this thing on the dyno uh, shortly. So, it should be pretty interesting. Right, guys, so here is the valve cover breather um, from CFM Performance that I got Scott for his stroker. It's pretty awesome. That's I, Oh, that's actually really nice. I think this is billet too. This is badass. <laughs> Damn, that is pretty awesome actually. It matches that thing perfect. Yeah, it does. Ooh, nice. There you go. All right, everyone. So let's let's see what you actually get in the entire Mighty Mouse Cash Cans Hellcat Mild Kit. First, as you can see, we already have the uh, the little valve covers off over here um, because it's actually going to be mounting right here um so we just kind of have that off also here's the instructions um here is the catch can itself really awesome quality and here is the bracket that we already have bolted up that's what it looks like now here's kind of some of the fittings 
these will go into the catch can and then you can even see these right here which you can see that it is it is directly for the Hellcat because you can look at these and see that those are like the OEM um, fittings for this so pretty much how this is gonna go is we're gonna take off this PCV hose right here and this ends gonna come off that ends gonna come off one end is gonna go into the catch can the other end coming out of the catch can is gonna go into here right there so I just kind of went ahead and already already got this bolted up and man the quality is so awesome um, I put the filter on it even has a little Mighty Mouse emblem on the filter, on the top of the filter. But man, this is really awesome. Another thing I'm going to have to do is probably change out this, this fitting with, I think Scott laid them over here. Um, so this is the hoses that you get with it, with the little bracket. And this is going to be what will drain straight from the catch can. I believe you unscrew this, or unscrew that, and then you can drain the catch can. So, just wanted to show you guys that, and that's pretty much the... It's pretty much the whole kit that you get with it. So, so we're gonna take this PCV hose off here. Um, this end's gonna come off, and this end is gonna come off. So I think, ow, we let the car cool down for quite a quite a long time. Push in right there, and then that will come off. And then this has a lock right here. So that little lock right there needs to come up and then pull. There you go. So I'm gonna use this 17 millimeter um, to get this nut all the way up to here. If you guys can see that, <laughs> do not drop it. <laughs> it's a little God harder. It, Scott. <laughs> awesome. Well, we just got the other end on this. Um, you're gonna have to use a 916 to get it off. It was on here. So basically, what your options are now is. You're going to have to either pull the catch can off the car and drain it that way. Um, that's what you're going to have to do because I don't think that there's probably going to be enough room down in there to to drain it. Next part is screwing this last nut in for the frame dancing of the catch can. Dancing Hellcat. Dancing, dancing, dancing Jazz hands. Dancing, Jazz hands. Dancing Hellcat. All right, and then you're going to have to use your... 17 millimeter to get that on. So we just got this last bolt through the actual frame for the can to hold the can in here. And we cinched that up and now we gotta put the hoses pretty much in their, in their places. All right, I'm just hand, fit, hand screwing these in. I'll leave them loose until I, until I actually, just hand screwing these in right now. Just make sure this is pointed down. Yeah, right there. Yeah, All right, everyone. So just a fair warning. These are insanely hard to get on. Uh, probably should lube them up with some oil. Um, we got all the fittings going into the right places. Got this cinched up um, with a crescent wrench. And we're actually good to, to start it up. So that is the install. To kind of do a, a visual see how it's running, see if there any anything that looks, you can also feel the air sucking in from here, looks like it's running good, I want to look it over, I don't see anything, and then also here is the, the sight glass right there, to see when it starts getting half full, awesome. That is gonna complete the install of the Mighty Mouse Solutions oil catch can. Now, if you guys wanna buy this product, I will put the link to their website in the description below. Definitely probably do it if you have some experience just because it's not the hardest install. But if you're someone that doesn't have a lot of experience, um, looking at it is really easy to see how it works. But actually doing it and getting those fittings on um, and knowing which way the mount goes and everything like that, uh, you're gonna wanna at least read the instructions, you know? Uh, but overall, really great quality product, and this is the drive home right now. I'll check on it once I get home. Uh, but man, that thing was sure sucking some air. Uh, awesome product. So anyways, guys, that's going to end the video. Please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.